I'm not going to go too crazy on the event of Kovalev being knocked down. He's been knocked down before by Darnell Boone. Okay, he's been knocked down twice now. And, you know, I can't find the first Darnell Boone fight, but apparently Boone was giving him hell. He was a little off balance. It wasn't like, um, I don't know, it didn't look like a concussive shot put him down. It just looked like a defensive lapse. And, you know, I know you guys ain't going to listen, but I'm just going to give you some of my experience as a spectator, not as a coach or as a boxer, but as a spectator. When you fight mediocre opposition and you're supposed to be world class, the only thing it's going to do for you is let bad habits creep into your game. And there's nothing your coach can do about it or you can do about it. And um, his power told in the end, as we knew it would, as we knew it would. But I can see certain angles which Kovalev gives up, which Bernard will be exploiting. Whether he wins the fight or not, I don't know. He's a 50-year-old fighter. And I made a pledge from when Bernard was about 46 or 7 not to bet or to predict him to win any more fights. And I'm not going to predict him to win this one here. He's 50 years of age, man. He beat Shumanov, who was a belt holder. He's fighting at world class at this very late age in life. Dude's older than me. <laughs> you know, and a um, few flaws there, a few flaws. And, you know, the Hopkins fight might come a little too early for Kovalev. Considering the opposition he's fought and beat. I don't think it would be easy for Bernard in saying that. Because if Bernard does hurt him or floor him or expose him early and he gets back off the deck, his more youthful legs should be able to recover from that and he should be able to go in and push Bernard very hard. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. It's a very good matchup. It's a very good matchup. And um, I haven't really got much to say about Kovalev's opponent. But, you know, it was a decent performance, you know, decent performance. I don't, I don't know much about Caparella, I look for his box wreck. There's nothing there except Alan Green. And this is a recent Alan Green. And over the hill Alan Green at that. So, you know, we wait until November. We'll get a unification fight and it will be very anticipated. Kovalev did what he needed to do to secure the match. Started letting his hands go. Floored the Australian a couple of times. It looked like a foregone conclusion by then. You know what I mean? And Kathy Duva will be relieved. <laughs> Peace out.